Kannada alphabet. The Kannada script is an Abhigita of the Brahmic family, used primarily to write the Kannada language, one of the Dravidian languages of South India especially in the state of Karnataka. Kannada script is widely used for writing Sanskrit texts in Karnataka. Several minor languages, such as Tulu, Konkani, Godava, Sankadi, and Beri, also use alphabets based on the Kannada script. The Kannada and Telugu scripts share high mutual intelligibility with each other, and are often considered to be regional variants of single script. Other scripts similar to Kannada script are Sinhala script and Old Peguan script. The Kannada script is a phonemic abhigita of 49 letters, and is written from left to right. The character set is almost identical to that of other Brahmic scripts. Consonantal letters imply an inherent vowel. Letters representing consonants are combined to form digraphs when there is no intervening vowel. Otherwise, each letter corresponds to a syllable. The letters are classified into three categories, svara, vyanjana, and yogabhaka. The Kannada words for a letter of the script are akshara. Akra, and Varna. Each letter has its own form and sound, providing the visible and audible representations, respectively. Kannada is written from left to right. The Kannada script derives from the old Kannada script, which evolved around 10th century as the continuation of the Kadamba alphabet of the 4th century. This evolved from the ancient Brahmi script of the 3rd century BCE. This is debated as recent excavation has led to Talaganda inscription of 370 AD to be the oldest available. Over the centuries, some changes have been made to the Kannada script. These changes consist of These changes have facilitated the use of the Kannada script for writing many of the literary Indic languages, including Sanskrit. Kannada literary works employ the letters and, whose manner of articulation most plausibly could be akin to those in present day Malayalam and Tamil. The letters dropped out of use in the 12th and 18th centuries, respectively. Later Kannada works replaced RH and LH with N respectively. Another letter, that has become extinct is NH or N. Likewise, this is its equivalent in Telugu, where it is called Naka Arapalu. The usage of this consonant was observed until the 1980s in Kannada works from the mostly coastal areas of Karnataka. Now, hardly any mainstream works use this consonant. This letter has been replaced by the image below shows the evolution of Kannada script from prehistoric times to the modern period. The Kannada script evolved in stages. Proto-Kannada Pre-Old Kannada Old Kannada Modern Kannada The Proto-Kannada script has its root in ancient Brahmi and appeared around the 3rd century BC. The Pre-Old Kannada script appeared around the 4th century AD. Old Kannada script can be traced to around the 10th century AD, whereas modern Kannada script appeared around the 17th century AD. There are 13 vowel letters. When a vowel follows a consonant, it is written with a digritic rather than as a separate letter. The Yogavaha include two letters. Another two Yogavaha used in Sanskrit, but present in Kannada script, are known as Ardhavasarga. Two categories of consonant letters are defined in Kannada, the structured consonants and the unstructured consonants. The structured consonants are classified according to where the tongue touches the palate of the mouth and are classified accordingly into five structured groups. These consonants are shown here with their YAS transcriptions. See place of articulation for more information on tongue positions. The unstructured consonants are consonants that do not fall into any of the above structures. The Kannada script is rich in conjunct consonant clusters, with most consonants having a standard subjoined form and few true ligature clusters. A table of consonant conjuncts follows, although the forms of individual conjuncts may differ according to font. Written Kannada is composed of akshara or kagunita, corresponding to syllables. The letters for consonants combine with diacritics for vowels. The consonant letter without any diacritic, such as ka, has the inherent vowel a. This is called dura. A consonant without a vowel is marked with a killer stroke, such as K. This is known as risva. The formations shown boldface above are seldom used in the normal course of the language. The decimal numerals in the script are. Several transliteration schemes slash tools are used to type Kannada characters using a standard keyboard. These include Baraa, Pata software and several internet tools like Google Transliteration, Quillpad, Nudi. The government of Karnataka's standard for Kannada input, is a phonetic layout loosely based on transliteration. Due to its resemblance to an eye and an eyebrow, the Kannada letter Ta is used in a popular emoticon called the look of disapproval used to convey disapproval or contempt. Similarly, 
The Akshara Arari has been used in emoticons to represent a monocle, while the has been used to represent a tearing eye. Kannada script was added to the Unicode standard in October, 1991 with the release of version 1.0. The Unicode block for Kannada is U plus 0 C80 U plus 0 CFF. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.